Uh, my name is Tim, this is Will, we're from Binghamton University. This is Emily and Yining, they're from Viacom, and Jess is from ADP. And this weekend, we made Dynotes. So basically, like you heard, paleontologists will go out and do field work, and they have to keep track of all the specimens they find. And currently, they mostly just use paper, and that's very hard to keep track of, and it's not very pretty and nice to work with. So we created this uh, web application. So Yining, know, you can register an account quickly. <laughs> okay, so uh, f firstly you can see there's some specimens that have already been cataloged here and in a checklist. So do we want to add a quick task? Let's say we want to remember to bring a toothbrush on the expedition. Okay, okay. So, oh, and we, we also set our GPS coordinates already so we can check that off. Nice, okay. So we just found a new specimen and let's name it something. So, cool, okay. And then we can describe where we found it. So uh, Museum of Natural History, AM and H, and then latitude, like 40 something, 70 uh, something. <laughs> and then we can put the date today. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And the collector is. Okay. And components, stuff we found here, happiness, right? And then we can write some more notes. And then we can uh, upload a picture. So let's let's download a picture so they can upload it. Let's download it quickly. Oh, it's an, H it's an HTML file. So. You can view image. Yeah. Save image as. Yeah. yeah. G file from desktop. It's on desktop, I think. You, uh, nice. Okay. And then let's submit it. And cool. We see that. The new specimen is logged here. Uh, we have the <laughs> locality and then notes, the collector. And then yeah, so the idea is we also have an excavation site map, which uh, before the expedition, you would set the general GPS points that you're at. And if you drag the screen a little bit. Yeah, so this is somewhere in the Gobi Desert, I think. And uh, you can drag around. This is using the Google Maps API. Yeah. And uh, that's the main idea. And Willie can talk about some of the technical stuff. So I was in charge of doing the back end side of things. And we had a bunch of different tasks that we were trying to aim for. One was that we had to make it offline or portable in some way. So what we did initially was we started out by using a MongoDB, Node.js, and Redis back, back end, or Redis, if you want to pronounce it that way. And uh, we used this web app. And uh, interestingly enough, we also use a tool called React.js, which is created by Facebook. And this enables you to actually have a physical native app on your phone, which is downloaded permanently. So the paleontologists do not have to download the JavaScript, all the resources over and over again. Makes it useful for working in the field. We've been working on caching. And uh, we've also created it as a very self-contained solution where you can actually deploy a computer, let's say a Raspberry Pi. It's very lightweight very easy to set up, all automatic, and you could have an individual server that's not connected to the rest of the internet but is good enough for sharing between paleontologists. You could also uh, share your notes with other people. It's not implemented in the front end, but on the back end, it, there, there's ways to do it. And you could share, you can delete, you can update. So it's sort of a Google Docs, but for paleontologists working in the field, because we know that writing on paper is not that fun. Thank you.